Okay, wait a minute. No, no, no. Say that. Say that again. Say that again. <sighs> no, dude. Okay, look. All I'm saying is that if you walk into a store all covered up, they're they're gonna catch you. Okay, you can't. You can't. You gotta look normal if you're gonna take stuff. Yeah, because you're such an expert. Come on, dude. Shut up. Oh no. Okay. All right. So. You know how I've been getting lots of stuff recently? I told you I got a job. Oh, yeah, because you're, you're so rich now. Uh, no, okay, I haven't, I don't have a job. I've been stealing things. I mean, I've been doing that for a while, but it's just recently I've been getting more stuff, getting bigger stuff. I mean, it, that's why, Wait, that's like, why I'm getting Like all what? That. Like, what are you getting? Just, right, look. Come to the Forest Hills Foods tomorrow, and I'll show you. You're going you're gonna to teach me. You're going to teach yeah. me how to be like you, yeah. basically. Join me on the path to the dark side, that sort of thing. I mean, can I, can I bring this camera? Well, sure, sure. For lesson one, we'll start with something simple. If you want to make a quick grab and only steal a few items, concealing them in your clothing is one of the easiest methods. Many people think that the most crucial part of this technique is getting the largest, baggiest clothing they own to stash the goods in. They are utterly and irredeemably wrong. The real key to any theft is acting. Putting on a false face and masking motives is the true art. Anyone can grab the goods, anyone can walk away with something in a pocket, but the best thieves are liars, and good ones at that. Because once you're even suspected of being a thief, you've lost. Soon they'll catch you, or at the very least, it'll be nearly impossible to steal again once the word spreads. The thief's best friends are his deep pockets and his murky mask. So it's on? Yeah, it's good. Okay, so we need some Reynolds wrap, and I will show you why later. But basically, um, the idea is you just kind of look like you're looking for some product, and you just take it and it's thin, and you walk away. So, um, that was really smooth. You've been doing this a lot then, right? Uh, no, not, well, I guess. I mean, I've been in for a few months. Just I think Like right around the time we got our, um, our, our college Let's get. Yes. Okay. Yes. That's good. All right. Okay. Here's the. All right. So we already covered how to hide stuff like that. So this is a method I like to use on an off day. I mean, you can get more stuff, but it sucks because you still have to pay. But what you do is you take these these barcodes that you got from cheap things, you put them on the more expensive stuff, and then you can still get a big discount. Okay. All right. Yeah. Does this work in all stores? And well, no. What you need is a self checkout because. What happens is when the, when the computer scans these, it tells the cashier what the item is, and so this won't, they'll see that you are committing fraud, so you can't, you can't do it everywhere. But, <laughs> I, mean, I bet they don't teach you stuff like this in college, though. Well, I don't know. Some of those application fees are pretty steep. I felt like I was being gypped paying $60, $70 to apply to one school. It just, it just doesn't feel right. I mean, it's like I pay all that money in application, not to mention, you know, the tuition. And if you don't even get in, though, all that money that you pay for your application just just goes to the kids who are going there. It's it's, it's just it's not right. It's, it's well like stealing. Yeah. Well, yeah, it's worth it though if you get in, right? Well, I mean, maybe. Okay. Well, well, I don't know. Just all the opportunities. I don't know. It's been on my mind a lot lately. It's coming up soon, and I mean, soon we're going to have to know the college we're going to. We're going to have to make our final decision, and I mean, I already know where I'm going, pretty much. Uh, I don't know about you, but just, we're going to be there soon, and we're going to be in the dorms, and hopefully we can room together. Be in the dorm together, we can, that way we can share the expenses of some of the things, like, I don't know, microwaves and refrigerators. I didn't and... get accepted, dude. Wait, what? I, okay, I, I know what I told you, but I lied. I got deferred from that one that we were going to, and I didn't get into all the others. Okay, I mean, I, and whether or not I can go depends on this semester's grades. We'll have you. Okay, all right. So we've we've gotten enough stuff. Um, I I don't like lingering after a job is done, dude. Um, I don't like lingering. Okay. I don't like lingering. So you figured out how to steal items large and small. But now that you've stolen a couple times, you have to change your methods. You have to adapt and evolve in order to prevent security from seeing patterns in your work and catching you. By now, your hunger is insatiable. You can't stop, won't stop stealing once you've felt the adrenaline rush, the surge of power that comes from outwitting them. 
Many stores offer customers reusable bags, and department stores and malls often offer sturdy bags that you can keep and reuse as well. Keep them because they're the keys to the vendor's downfall. By lining these with foil, you can fool the scanners at the store's exits and entrances. These foil-lined bags can be stocked with items, and with some proper timing, you'll slip out of the store unnoticed without paying a cent for several goods. The master thief studies his haunts and adapts his methods, for he knows that security is doing the same thing to stop him. Thanks for giving me a ride, man. Oh, no Thank problem. Right. Yeah, okay, so. Sweet. What is that? It's that photo technique I was telling you about. We're gonna rob them blind. Dude, that bag's huge. What happens if you get caught? Oh, I told you from day one. If you get caught, you're done. I'm not gonna ruin this hobby of mine anytime soon, dude. So wait a minute, this is a hobby now? <sighs> Look, all right? I haven't even gotten caught once yet. Not even close. All right, just stop. Don't worry about it. That's where you're wrong. You've been caught several times and the evidence is all right here. Do you know how much you've stolen since we've been here this past few weeks? Enough to be tried as a felony. And you're 18, man. They're not gonna tap you on the wrist and let you walk away from this. This is serious stuff. I'm not gonna let you throw your life away. What about your future? What about college? What about going into business like you used to want to do? You had plans and you're just ruining them. Drop the bag. Drop the bag or I'm turning you in before you get caught doing something even worse. How could you? Who do you think you are? How dare you play with me like that? All right, let me tell you something. I've learned something over the last few years. You have to take what you want, no matter the cost. The most successful, they seize their cups with riches while the rest of us have to scavenge over the scraps. You think, you think I want to be some desk monkey my whole life? Punching someone else's numbers while I worry over student loans from college? No! Hell no! And who are you? Who are you to judge me anyway, huh? You who goes home to torrent gigabyte after gigabyte. You who thinks himself righteous, but he who could betray his closest friend. You think you can keep me down? No. You go bury yourself in debt because you're too afraid, too weak to do as I do. I want to tussle with the wolves for the good me. And you can sit back in the darkness with the rats. Take over the scraps when we're done. But today, today you've won. Talk about what happens tomorrow. Let's just, I'll, t I'll take you home.